no, 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 no. Say it all the time, bro. Social media messed everything up. It messed oh, yeah. everything up because now all these women are feeling, oh, I got I got Tom, Dick, and Harry in my DMs. If you want to act up, well then it's all good. I got options. Yeah. You know? And in reality, it's like you're you're not you're not seeing the bigger picture here. It's like, yeah, you got Tom, Dick, and Harry up in your, your DMs, right? But your man that, that been giving you time invested, that loves you, that that put time and years and whatever, you know, all into the relationship. This man genuinely loves you. He loves you sincerely. These are the men out here you just don't understand. They really just trying to smash. Yeah. Let's be real. They trying to smash. Cause and we know that, bro, because we're we're part of those conversations, you know? They go, Oh, well, I don't agree. This and that. You don't need to agree. You're you're not a man. Yeah. But we're the men though. Like we we stay in, you know, having our conversations. We know what, what they talking about. Just like females got their conversations that we don't know nothing about. But to sit here and like literally feel like you got options over a man who loves you genuinely, come on, man. And this is exactly why those women that decide to go for these top guys they get passed around like a joint at the dr dre and snoop dogg concert and um they get treated like freak nick that's just how it goes but this is why men go overseas because once women start overusing their hypergamy and starting to use up their value and become you know valueless men start going overseas this is exactly why social media did mess it up and he's right and women think that we're, you know, we're dumb or something. Like, we just don't have conversations. We don't speak to each other. We're just dumb. So they don't know that a lot of them are in the sex zone. And a lot of guys, we know how we move. He was right. We're guys. We know how we operate. So it's crazy. A lot of them are in the sex zone on a rotation on the cock carousel, and they can't get commitment, and they're wondering why, why they're expiring, hitting 35 years old, and smashing dead end into the wall. It's crazy, but that's just how it's happening in 2024. These women today, they're sneaky, bro. They know how to hide stuff. They know how to hide stuff without without anything being found. They know that, and y'all know it's true. That's why y'all saying that. Them, them girl trips, them girl trips to Jamaica and Las Vegas, those ain't really girls trips. Those is whole trips. Those is what those are. You see that dude jumping up at the end right there cheering? This right here is more proof that men, we all pretty much understand the rules. We just don't say things outwardly. We don't share these things because we get shamed. It's like, you know, socially unacceptable for men to talk certain ways. But that's the thing. And then you see the women right there. It's uncomfortable. And uh, even though it's socially acceptable for them to be sexually free and all that stuff, that woman's face in the front row, that light-skinned woman, she was looking like, is he about to expose us and spill the tea? Because he was starting to cook, but he's absolutely correct. And men know this, and women have to act appalled because they have to sell you what? That purity. It's crazy, man, but <laughs> I got to figure out if anybody knows what show this is and who that host is, let me know in the comment section because I would love to watch that full episode and possibly dissect it. I'm in my soft guy era. Yeah, same. Need to be taken. Come on. I need somebody to pay my bills. Somebody gotta pay some shit. I need emotional support. Yeah! Listen, women that just get taken care of, they just sit in the house, they make them weak ass chicken parms, they tend to get diabetes faster. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that video or was it just me? That guy doesn't look stressed, he looks happy. His life expectancy just increased by 25 years. <laughs> Listen, when you're in your soft guy era, you just tend to live longer. But 99% of y'all are going to go work 70, 80 hours a week, pay all the rent, then argue with your girl about a fucking Telfar bag that she wants next week. How you don't know if it's in your budget. <laughs> when was the last time your girl asked you the question, hey, how was your day? Is there anything I can do to help you out? No. She asked you, hey, babe. Can I get $80 for my nails? <laughs> I'm going out with the girls to go do this. Bow, bow, bow. Get it sexy, yeah. <laughs> Shut that weak shit up. You don't get no emotional support. You're asking your mom, hey, do I look like I'm getting older? Yes, yes. Hey man, it's 2024. Leave the broke, stingy women back in 2022. We are in our soft guy era now. Hey, the soft car era is going crazy. It's getting really hot and sizzly out in these streets. These guys are being 
very, very outward and formal. The same thing that women didn't want the passport bros to do in 2022 and in 2023 is to be outward and start blasting all the stuff that's on the internet. But the tables have turned. See, men, we adapt and we analyze and study what has not been done yet. And this reverse psychology, this satire, this soft guy era, it's getting let loose in the streets, bro. And it is going down. A lot of these women going to get caught up in the street sweeper. I'm being completely honest with you guys. And it's not going to be good. So guys are still getting passports. Guys are still in their soft guy era. And they're forcing chains here in the United States. So hopefully the next batch of women that are coming into the dating market won't be like the ones that we're dealing with right now. But shout out to the soft guy era. Uh, hit, hit the merch and go get their merch. Cop their merch. Shout out to Lil Goody, man. I don't think a lot of girls realize this, but the moment that man stops paying for you is the moment he stops liking you. Let's talk about it. It was like weekend two of this guy and I hanging out and I will never forget, we are in the line of Chick-fil-A and he like lets me order first, but he's like keeping the distance. So I just pulled out my debit card and paid for my meal. And that's when I realized that the energy had shifted. Prior to that, he was paying for all of our meals he was pursuing me he was like trying to impress me and date me in that moment of me paying for my chick-fil-a i felt like his homie what happened is he entered into a soft guy era and the thing is uh he probably understood that you know your contract had expired and he no need, longer needed to you know treat you like the boyfriend because he was already getting the box so why buy the cow if the milk is free pretty much? So expect and don't be surprised when, you know, this guy either ghosts you or you guys somehow uh, split ways and he hits you with that text message like, you know, like, you know, I'm just part ways. He's going to come up with some way to make it sound, you know, fruity and female like and, you know, fluorescent. And you're going to be questioning it and making a different video. So get prepared. That's just how it goes. You didn't add enough value and he was probably only interested in you for the sex. Anytime I hear a guy talk about a girl's way, I wanna smack them. Cause men are quick to talk about a girl getting big. If they only knew the struggle, the struggle. Like our bodies are so deeply affected by stress, affected by hormones. Like they don't have a damn clue. They really don't. Like I just think about my own personal life and the struggles that I go through anytime I gain like some weight. I lose my mind. And as much as I could sit here and act like, oh, like I, I, it's normal, I get over it. I don't, like straight up, I don't. So anytime I just hear them talking about anybody else, I just get triggered in general because I just want to fight them. I'm just like, damn, they, they just really don't have a damn clue. They don't know what it's like. <laughs> and this attitude right here of victimhood and too many excuses in the United States, weight fluctuation, uh, thyroid, stress, hormones. Women have all these excuses, but women overseas, they beat you out every single day. And where are they? In the gym. All women have to do is control their weight, which they can do because they are responsible for what they put in their mouth, chew and swallow to eat. And all they have to do is cut calories and work out. But we know a lot of women inherently are lazy, but women overseas, where are they at all the time in their pictures? Even on Tinder, the girls that I see on Tinder and Bumble, they have pictures of themselves showing themselves, uh, showing the guys that they're in the gym, that they're in shape. They're not looking too buffed and masculine. They're just in the gym looking feminine and, you know, real tight. And that's what guys look for. But these women won't change. They'll just come up with excuse after excuse and want to be coddled for their bad decision making. This is why guys put you on a rotation and they never take you serious because you don't know what they're looking for. Man, get your passport.